Bell Let's Talk Day on 610 CKTV, Bell Station, with Tom McConnell. How do you like my shirt, Broke Agent? Hooking me up nice. Thank you, Broke Agent. Uh, go over it and check out the Broke Agent. Self-described as full-time comedian, part-time realtor. I love it. He is a branding genius. He's got a great following, and he's uh, pretty funny. He got a book coming out. He had uh, a cartoon made of the Broke Agent. Uh, I think there's more to come on that, so go check out The Broke Agent. You know how to find it, and go to the store and get this bad boy right here. Broke Agent, baby. Love that guy. He's in California. Eric Stick Simon. I see that we had a one year anniversary today. It's our, it's our friend anniversary. One year. <sighs> Makes me kind of giddy. I'm going to have Broke Agent on the show. And I can't, I'm really looking forward to that. So, um, heads up for that coming up. He's got a book launch coming out. You can check that out. Check his Twitter, social media. You can find him. Uh, so he does have a book coming out. Looking forward to that. And then we're going to talk about the book and other things real estate related. He actually had a listing. I saw, wow, I don't know, <laughs> at least a month ago, he took a listing. I've never actually seen him pro promote a property before, but uh, genius on the memes and the short videos and the comedy and uh, broke agent, baby. We love you. We love you. Sending you some. Commission Coach Canada Love. Speaking of Commission Coach, I spoke to an agent, Byron Short. He's in Phoenix, Arizona yesterday. I'm going to book a call with him for next week. It's talking about the 100% concept to, for realtors um, and talking about the idea that in the States, and I'm learning, you can't negotiate your commission downward. You can't put pressure on the on the on the agents in a downward fashion to accept less money. I can't. Um, we're gonna get into more with them next week, but this idea that you know, for the commission coach's sake, you know, you offer four percent to the selling broker, which is much more than any other rate in the in the, in the market for the buyer's agent, and then. If you don't get, or if you come down considerably in price, then you can negotiate that rate later. And another thing uh, Byron talked about is the expectations that Canadians build into the real estate market for negotiating room and how they think in the States it's the same thing. In his market, he's working on a 94, 95% listing to sale ratio. And he said, that, you know, sometimes the buyers would come down from Canada, especially when the market uh, was strong for them with the dollar. They'd come down and make offers of seven fifty on a million dollar home, and and think, well, it's a good place to start. Well, no, you're just going to offend the seller. So that was interesting to talk to Byron. So we're going to touch base with him next week on on average commissions, on uh, in his market, five and six percent still pretty much the most common rate. I think he quoted two point seven as an end average percentage in his. Uh, brokerage and then compass real st realty compass yeah this is an interesting he mentioned that compass is out there buying up boutique uh, realtors uh, with high volumes and signing the agents to long-term contracts to stay with the firm and paying them the signing bonuses up front sometimes a year's salary and you know, putting the real estate industry, spinning it around upside down almost as far as the concept and the value they put on brokerages and the revenue they generate similar to um, an insurance book of business. You know, you can sell an, that type of thing. Um, and so that they're looking at real estate much in much the same way. So coming up next week, we're going to have Byron Short. He's a realtor in Phoenix, Arizona. 
bright, well-spoken. And I do have a conversation I just clipped when I had my short conversation with him, but uh, actually didn't get his permission on that. And he's busy, can't check it out. So I'm not going to release that, but I'm going to promote the uh, stop sending me the bell, let's talk thing. Come on, man. I don't know. I'm not, uh, you know what the last thing anyone wants to do when they're depressed or mentally ill is reach out and talk to someone. And uh, if they do, <laughs> lots of times they're met with nothing. I don't know. I'm struggling with this whole corporate uh, promotion of Bell Let's Talk Day. I think it's, uh, I'm struggling with it. Anyway, so looking forward to the show coming up. The Broke Agent, we're going to have Byron Short um, from Phoenix. We're going to talk commissions, market trends, uh, franchise trends, and commission trends. You know, what's going to Oh, iBuyer. I find this fascinating, too. The, the, the concept of iBuyer, I guess, is pretty big in the States, especially down where Byron is. And my, I've never read... Well, I read a little bit of it up on it now, but I never heard too much about it before yesterday. So uh, Byron is a speaker on many topics, including the iBuyer. He's, I think he runs a course down there on them. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that and really looking forward to Eric Stick Simon, otherwise known as the Broke Agent. Oh, I got another shirt too. I'm going to bust out later. Okay, so check out the Jim Fannin Show. Coming up, The Broke Agent and Byron Short. We're going to talk everything real estate with both of these guys and uh, look for that coming soon, all right? In the meantime, subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell, and like us on social media, okay? Thecommissioncoach.com, realestate at teamnagra.ca, at the Jim Fannin Show on the Twitter. Catch us on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook. Catch us on all the platforms and uh, give us some virtual love, right? Peace out.